All right, well, we have uh, got our stuff down on the boat now. Wednesday night, heading out tomorrow right after work, and we'll see where we get to. Maybe we'll go to, what, maybe... I'm not sure yet where we're going. <laughs> maybe we'll go to Bedwell, go over to South Pender Island, or we'll see what the wind's doing. That's usually, yeah. we'll yeah. check the forecast when we get home and see what things are doing, but at least we can have a quick dust off tomorrow. We're always organized getting everything down here ahead of time, so. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see where we get to. northern portion of the Haro Strait and you can see Pender Island. South Pender is right here in the background. Or actually North Pender here and then South Pender is further down. So I think we're going to be going to Bedwell Harbor for the night. Uh, you know quite quite often we find we don't actually make our choice of where we're going to till we're till we're already uh, you know heading in that direction. Usually it's subject to wind, weather and last minute always is often the best decision with weather so anyway we should be there in about 15 minutes and we'll anchor up from there. Beaumont Marine Park is one of the most popular marine parks in the Gulf Islands. It is located in Bedwell Harbor on the west shore of South Pender Island and is part of the Gulf Islands National Park Reserve. settled in at uh, Beaumont Marine Park uh, in between North Pender and South Pender Island and as you can see it's a nice uh, calm night and uh, this is a pretty nice anchorage um, this was one of our this was actually the first marine park we went to when we first started boating with our 14 foot inflatable and uh, in fact right down there is where the actual campsite is so that's where we actually camped was right down there and over here on this side of the park we have Poets Cove over here which is a marina resort spa pool that sort of thing we haven't been there but um, maybe one of these days who knows maybe this year we'll actually stop in there we just had dinner and the kids are taking the dog to shore so this is another use for a stern line that works pretty good so the kids just got in the dinghy and they're just pulling pulling it in towards shore and then they can take the dog out have a little walk and then just pull it along back without even starting the engine works pretty good normally hunter has this dinghy here but we haven't launched it yet for the year and uh, um, so he's a little young to run the 15 horse so it'll be uh, a little better once he actually has his dinghy back here So far 
are there's a, a fairly a fairly steep hills coming up into this uh, up to the top of this ridge, but we'll see. I'm starting to get there anyway. at the top of the top of Mount Norman here and there is a really nice view from the top well worth it. Uh, somewhere down here is where the boat is but we're gonna hike over to the side here of the ridge and just see if we can actually see that from here. I'm not sure if we can. Well we've come a boat as far over to the, the cliff edge here as possible. We're looking down right over here and that's where our boat would be. We're kind of hoping we could actually get a really nice picture of it from up here but uh, we're stern tied to the shoreline. We see a few of the other boats here, but but we're just too close to the shoreline to actually see it. But but if you are anchored in Bedwell Harbor or over at Poets Cove, this is a really nice hike and really should be taken advantage of. It doesn't take very long. We're about 700 feet above the water here. Um, maybe takes 45 minutes or so to hike up here, and uh, a few sections that are a little bit steep, but nothing too bad. Okay, we are almost back to the boat. I think I might be able to see it here pretty soon. And um, my feet kind of hurt. It's fine though. <laughs> Okay, so we're on the beach now, just waiting for the rest of the people. Um, I can hear them. Or like basically, back to the boat. Just gotta go to the dinghy and head back. So yeah. Hey, who uh, who tied up the dinghy last? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you guys don't remember how to tie a bowline? Um, well, I, I guess it is the beginning of the year, but. That knot, we're going to lose our dinghy, or at least it's going to come <laughs> partly undone. My toe hurts. No, because the back is tied, too. <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's tied. Okay, time to learn how to tie a bowline, okay? <laughs> we do this every year. Okay, This goes around whenever you're tying it to. Up through the hole, around the tree. <laughs> down through the hole, okay? So the kids have a new game. Here it is. Go. <laughs> Who can tie a bowl in the quickest? Uh -huh. uh oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, best of three. Okay, okay. do it again. Let me do it. You gotta tie it around the metal though, hunt. I am. He's tying it oh, down. Oh, okay, you are. Okay. 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 Hold up. Down. Ow. Okay, so do you want to count down to three? Sure, okay. Okay, one, two, three, tie a bowline. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look at that speed. <laughs> you know, that looked like a tie, I think, okay? I think so. I think I did it okay, one, yes, okay, one more, one more. Okay, one more it. to break the tie. Okay, I did one. <laughs> okay. Okay, get ready. One. Two, three, tie a bowling. <laughs> Slow and steady. <laughs> the pressure's on. Oh, I, I, think, uh -oh. Are, I think we have a winner. <laughs> did, did you finish, Hunter? Are you giggling? Yes, I did. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> so I think Hunter's the winner. Hunter, Hunter's the winner for this for this uh, for this competition, but there will be more competitions in the future. <laughs> next time we do uh, we do a clove hitch, okay? Clove hitch. Okay, next yeah. time clove hitch. Yeah. Okay.